People talk about India being the new China, but to be fair, India is no China. It's not big enough, but there's still a lot of interest. I mean, when you take a look, a look at valuations, they're overstretched. Are investors willing to pay the premium to be in India now? You know, when you look around the world, Haslind, uh, there are these bifurcations, there are these two-tier markets everywhere. We just talked about the U.S., the mega caps, the rest of the market. When you look at Asia and the emerging world, it's the same. We just talked about China and how some valuations are pushed too far on the other side. Conversely, in India, given what's happening around the world, people are willing to pay a premium for the structural growth, for the secular growth, for the visibility that they're seeing, which they're probably not seeing as much elsewhere. And that's resulting in the premium and historically allocations to India from foreign investors have been fairly limited. People have been very much more focused on China. We just talked about China. There are a lot of issues there, structural, geopolitical. Uh, it's in flux. So there's a lot more interest in India. Yes, India is, um, is, is expensive relative to history. There are still some very interesting stocks with growth uh, that is, is strong. Uh, but what people want is the lack of correlation that India provides relative to the U.S., relative to China, and as I mentioned, the structural growth, right. the reform, all of that is coming through.